Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the ultimate fast food tier list. Yeah, we're gonna be doing fast food tier list because I miss making tier list videos. You guys seem to enjoy them, so there's pretty much no reason not to. So, before we get in, quick disclaimer, make sure you guys like the video, obviously, if you guys enjoy it, only if you enjoy it. Don't don't like it, if you don't enjoy it, let me know. Directive criticism, I completely take it, it's fine, it doesn't matter. But also, this video is going to be 100% um factual so if you guys get offended by the real facts i'm sorry to bring it to you break it to you but uh it's it, there's i mean that's just how it is all right all right so before we just go listing off restaurants what i want to do is i want to uh start off by listing all the um restaurants that i've never had before so i could just get them out of the way don't need to don't need to worry about this okay if i haven't had them before it's either because i just haven't had them or i don't live near one or haven't lived near one or I've just never been never gone there so don't be offended if i haven't eaten at a re your favorite restaurant i i just i can't help where i've eaten before so whatever so the first restaurant on here that i haven't had is baja fresh i have no idea what that is it's mexican real though so I'm, I'm not a big fan of mexican foods i really don't care uh next is bojangles i i don't i've never even heard of that i don't think so uh boston market rotisserie kitchen i mean that sounds good i guess but i i've never had that i've also never had california pizza chicken i've lived in california just never had their pizza i don't know why i said pizza chicken but whatever never had checkers i don't i've never even heard of that before in my life either i've now this might surprise you i've never had chipotle i've just never had chipotle i've, I've never had it in my life i i'd imagine i i don't know it's whatever uh churches i haven't had it um, and if I have, it's n it has not been recent enough for me to remember what it tastes like. So I've heard good things. I've heard good things. Though. I'll keep it on open mind. Uh, I've never had Cold Stone Creamery either. Again, I love ice cream though, so I'd, I'd totally be down. I'd, I don't even know what this is. Cookout? Cookout? Is that what it's called? Uh, I've also never had Del Taco. It's a common one, but it's a Mexican restaurant. Um, so you guys know the gist, and I don't really... I don't... I don't... I don't know. Just I don't know. I've never had Dunkin' Donuts, um, because there's just better donut places, in my opinion. Um, what else do we got here? I don't know what this is, so this is the only thing that never had it tier. Um, so, I, I, I don't know what it is. I, 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 I don't know. Uh, what else? I've never been to El Pollo Loco. Never been to whatever this is. I've never been to the Quiznos. I've never been to Sabaro. As, as far as I'm concerned, that's more like a, a, a northern kind of restaurant, like up north in the States. Uh, yeah, uh, and I've never had tortilla, whatever. I'm guessing that's what that says. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, there we go. List all the foods that I've never had before. We got that out of the way. Um, I don't think there's a way to like get rid of them because they're just gonna get rid of the tier list. All right, there you go. That's the. Those are the restaurants I've never fast food restaurants I've never had before. Get those away. Now we can get into the real video, starting with Arby's. Um, I. I just realized I've never had this either, to be honest. I don't think I've had Arby's before either. I literally have one in my town. I don't really have a reason why I, I haven't. I just, I've never had Arby's. I think I've had it once, but I don't even remember what I got. So, that's not. Okay, first real restaurant, Auntie Annie's. Now, you'll see these in malls, um, and I love myself a big pretzel. I honestly can't say, I haven't had it enough to give it a fair judgment, but I love big pretzels. I'm gonna put it in B tier. Um, you can't, you really, it's really hard to go wrong with them, except the only time I've ever had a bad big, big pretzel is SeaWorld. They're harder than a rock. Don't ever get big pretzels at your world, or don't even just go to SeaWorld. Problem solved. Okay. Next is Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, I love wings. I love wings. Um, and I'm going to base, I'm basing this tier list off of taste. Um, taste-wise, I'd say A tier. I, I love wings. Kind of hard to go with wings. They taste good. Not much, not much to say. Baskin Robbins. Uh, I'm gonna go B tier. Uh, it's good. Um, it's good. I, I mean, I no complaints. It's not top tier, but it's not bad. It's a good. It's a good restaurant. I mean, I like it. Burger King at BK have it. You're okay at BK. At BK, you're gonna have it okay. Only thing I really care for at Burger King is their chicken fries, and maybe their spicy chicken fries. But there's other restaurants I'd rather go to get spicy chicken. It's okay. It's it's just okay. Kind of kind of overrated, but Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. is actually good. If you guys haven't had Carl's Jr., get on that. It's good. And I'm also gonna be putting Hardee's in the same tier because they're literally pretty much the exact same. So I'd be kind of stupid if I didn't. But yeah, Chick Fil A uh, S tier. 
not not even a question. Not even a question. It's good. If you love chicken, you'll love Chick-fil-A. It's that simple. It really is. Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, I haven't eaten there recently, but I have eaten there like several times as a child, and uh, I don't really like remember caring for it either way. It was okay. From what I remember, it tasting like it was okay. There was obviously I would just I'd rather eat at literally any. I don't know how Chuck E. Cheese is even a fast food restaurant. I don't even know how that counts, but apparently that counts as a fast food restaurant. So I guess it's on here, but it's it's just okay. It's okay. Cinnabon. Cinnabon is goaded A tier. If you don't like Cinnabon, like who are you anymore? Like I don't even know. It's good. Cinnabon for me is kind of like Auntie Annie. Like it's it's um it's good. It I. I no complaints there if you I don't know how you don't like it to be honest, but whatever next is DQ at DQ have it your way That's how it wait. Oh, wait, sure. I, I already screwed up the intro DQ That's what I like about Texas <laughs> That intro alone deserves the A tier Really good food though. Really good. Really solid. Really so not not S tier But it's a very so if that's if that's an option that is a very high considered option that I have uh, restaurant wise DQ automatically whoosh, at the top of the recommendation list very good Domino's now I have mixed feeling about Domino's Domino's normal pizza is okay um, I like their pan pizza a lot though and they got other stuff I I'll put it in B tier I, I don't feel very strongly about it it's it's Domino's I mean, it's not my favorite pizza place it's um it's not bad though it's good it's a good good place oh elevation burger I don't know how I missed this one I've never had that either I don't know how, I don't know how I missed that is there any other restaurants I missed I think that's the last one for sure, guys, that I missed. Okay. Oh, wait. Shake Shack. I don't, I don't think I've ever had that either. All right. Now we really have all the restaurants that I've ever eaten out of the way. Let's keep going. Uh, five Guys. Oh, Five Guys. Oh, my gosh. If you guys have not had... Oh. If you guys have not had Five Guys, get on that. One of the best burger places you will ever go to. I, it's good. It's expensive. I'll, 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 I'll be honest. It's expensive. But... It's good. I mean, it's it's definitely worth going to at, at least once or twice a year. At least, it you're missing out on if 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 you, if you don't. If I got, what did I just do? Uh, okay, we're back. A little bit of technical difficulties. I have no idea what I did, but uh, we're back. So that's all that matters. Let's just keep going. Um, anyway, In and Out is quite possibly the most overrated rest fast food restaurant of all time. It's not good. It's uh, it's not F tier. I I I just I don't like it. It's not good. Their French fries are okay. That's the best thing I have to say about their restaurant. Their fries are okay. I I'd rather go to Chick Fil A for fries, or even I know I'd rather go to Burger King for fries than In and Out. They're not even that good. They're just okay. And their burgers. No, no, mm -mm. no. Don't like it. Uh, Jack in the Box. I actually like Jack in the Box. I'm putting it in B tier. It's a solid restaurant. Not my not my first choice. Probably not in my top recommended uh, list. Uh, but it's definitely good. It's it's a solid place. If you got another options, really solid place. Really really good. Jimmy John's. Uh, just C tier. It's it's okay. It's it's alright. It's better than uh, In and Out, I guess. Uh, yeah. It's better than KFC. Now I have only had KFC like once or twice, so I can't. So take my judgment of this restaurant with a grain of salt, because I really, I've, I've only had it a couple times. I, I really don't. I can't judge it too well. Uh, but I'm gonna put it in C tier. I can't feel like I could put it any higher. I've heard good things. I've heard a lot of people put A tier, S tier. I've heard good things about it, but I haven't had it enough to really judge. Based on the one time I did have it, it was okay. That's really all I can really base off of them. Until I have it more, I can't really feel comfortable putting any higher, um, but it's good. Krispy Kreme, if you love donuts, that's the place to go, Krispy Kreme. Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. I don't know how this fast food restaurant again, but you know, whatever. Go to Krispy Kreme. If you guys love donuts, go there, it is amazing. Enough said. Little Caesars, great pizza place. We're gonna go A tier. Not my favorite pizza place, but it is astounding, it is really good. You guys, if you guys are want to go out for pizza, definitely a top recommendation I have. Definitely a top, top recommendation. Uh, we got Long John Silver's here. They're out of business and for good reason. Long John Silver's. What were you doing? I, I'm speechless. I, there's not much I have to say about it. It's 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 Long John Silver's. You, you guys already know about that. McDonald's. Um, now I don't eat McDonald's anymore. Um, but we're judging this tier list off of taste. 
So, based on how good it tastes, B tier. B tier. It's solid. Fries are good. They used. They're not as good as they used to be, but um, their their big nuggets are good. Their sweet and spicy sauce, or not sweet and spicy sauce. I'm thinking the wrong restaurant. Sweet and sour sauce is really good. Um, yeah, no complaints. Uh, okay, Panda Express. Uh, the beginning of eight S tier. How do you how do you move them out of the big top S tier? Best restaurant. Period. Not even fast food restaurant. Re best restaurant. Period. That's it. Panda Express. Even if you guys aren't a fan of Chinese food, I don't. You, you're still gonna like Panda Express. Some people don't like it. I don't. I don't get how people like it. It tastes good. It may not be real Chinese food, but it tastes good. It. It's it's good. It's like that's. There's no other, no complaints. It's it's amazing. If you guys have not tried, have you had? If you guys have not had Panda Express, I please implore you to at least try it once. At least try it once. Even if you don't like it, I don't care. Just try it once. You have to know the magic that this panda brings to the kitchen and your taste buds. You just have to know, okay? That's all I'm gonna say, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, Panera Bread. Um, uh, last time I went, it was okay. Uh, nothing too special. I know they're like, focused on like, uh, healthy ingredients and stuff like that. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's okay, it's good, it's good. Kind of expensive though, uh, but it's good. Uh, not much else to say really. Papa John's, now this is the S tier. This, if you guys got a Papa John's in your town and you want pizza, this is the restaurant to go to. This is the definitive best pizza place that you can get in most towns and cities. Go to Pop John's if you guys want a good pizza. That's all I'm gonna say. Not much to say here. We got Pizza Hut here. Uh, we're gonna shove this on the on the same row as uh, Domino's. Uh, Little Caesars is a little bit better than Domino's and Pizza Hut, and the Pop John just trumps them all. Um, pizza Hut's good. Good option if you don't have any other options. But if you do have any other options, Little Caesars, Pop John's, definitely recommend. Popeyes, Louisiana fast, or as the newer commercials are, love that chicken from Popeyes. Okay, I'm, I got that out of my system. Popeyes is great, A tier, really good restaurant, great. If you guys want chicken, if you guys don't have a Chick Fil A and you guys want chicken, Popeyes, easily the best, second best option, very safe. It's not much worse than Chick Fil A. It's it, honestly, I could put it S tier. I wouldn't be, I don't mind. Biscuits are dry. I had never had a problem with the biscuits, so I like their biscuits. They were good. Their chicken's good. Gravy's good. Enough said. It, it's good. Good restaurant. Sonic. I like Sonic A tier. I live in Texas, or I used to live in Texas, but I still got a Sonic in my town, uh, and I uh, eat Sonic. It's good. Doesn't have. It's got diversity, admittedly, but there's only a couple things on there I really like. But Sonic's good. It's good. It, 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 like if you want some variety, and like if everyone in the family doesn't know what they want. Just go to Sonic. Quick, easy. There's options. I mean, yeah, Sonic good. Recommend it. Starbucks. Uh, I'm not a big coffee person, but uh, I do like coffee. Really expensive though. But we're not judging it based off of expensive. We're judging it based off of taste. And for taste, I'd have to say A tier. I like I like Starbucks. I like iced coffee. That's what I get. That's all. I, that's all I get really. Um. Yep. Yeah. Good. Starbucks is good. Subway. I love Subway. I really want to put an S tier, but I'm just gonna put an A tier. Um, it's good. It's good. Um, enough said. Some people hate Subway. I love Subway. I don't care. It's unhealthy. I don't care. Most of these restaurants are healthy. Anyway, I mean, I. It's good. Subway all the way. Taco Bell. <gasps> I don't like Mexican food. <laughs> um, we're not allowed some unfair. I'll put an E. E tier. It's it's not good. Why, is, why it's so popular, I don't know, to be honest. It's not good. I think the only good thing they have there is Baja Blast. I don't even drink that, so I don't, I don't even know. I can't even judge fairly on that, based off that. So. Wendy's, oh my gosh, Wendy's, oh. If you guys don't have the five guys in your town, go to Wendy's for burgers. Oh, Wendy's is so good. They're spicy nuggets, Frosties, burger, like, I mean, that's all you need right there. That's literally all you need. You don't need anything else. Their fries are good too. Go get their fries. Go to set Wendy's, guys. Guys, go to Wendy's. It's good. D d don't not go to Wendy's. Um, Whataburger is also amazing, too. Not as good as Wendy's. I'll, I'll say this. It's not as good as Wendy's. But it is still an S-tier restaurant. Still amazing. They got good chicken options. They got good burger options. They're good. If you guys, if your family can't decide between burger or chicken, go to Whataburger. They got both. They're both amazing. Go there. Go to Whataburger if you haven't eaten there. It is amazing. Last but not least, White Castle. Now, um... They're not really a restaurant anymore. 
Um, but I do eat the White Castle sliders that they sell. Uh, and based off of those, I would say B tier. They're, um, they're, it's decent. It's good. I, I, I wouldn't mind eating them. Just, just good. Yeah. Okay, so that's all the restaurants for this tier list, but I'm gonna go, uh, be right back. I'm just gonna go see if there's any other restaurants that I missed, because I want to make sure I get in as many restaurants in here as I can, so I'll be right back. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I looked, there's no, there, there are a few restaurants that I, that aren't on this tier list, um, but most of them I either really don't care about or I've never had before, so I, I'm just gonna leave it there. Hope you guys like my tier list. Uh, if you don't, then I'm sorry to say it, but, uh, I don't know. Um, feel free to let me know about any of these uh, fast food restaurants that I haven't had, how, how much you guys like them. Um, because I really, I, I, I just haven't, I haven't eaten there. Um, so let me get, let me know in the comments if you guys like any of the restaurants that I've never had. Let me know um, if the the lower tier uh, restaurants that are ranked, uh, why you guys think it deserves to be higher, or if there's anything in the top tiers, why I think you think it needs to be lower. Let me know. Let me know guys your opinions, and I'll tell you guys in the comments why you're wrong. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you guys why uh, that's a very interesting opinion. Thank you guys for watching. Um, new new video coming out this weekend. Um, let me guys, let me know if you guys have any other ideas for tier lists. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.